Hi all, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we're taking a look at this unknown uh, inverter or battery charger. I'm not quite sure what it is, but we will see once we take it apart. But it does have a few markings on the PCB that suggest that this is probably a uh, battery charger for 12 or 24 volt DC. So let's take a closer look. The unit itself is around, um, yeah, let's just say three to five kilograms. Looking on the uh, inside here, it does says uh, SMF 2420, and that turns out to be a Signet system manufactured 24 volt DC 19 amp battery charger for lifts and trucks and such. It also is a pretty much a, a giveaway that uh, up here we have the text on the PCB at the LEDs that says gel. And then we have 100%, 75% and 50% uh, charge status. Down here we have the ACL and ACN, so that's the uh, yeah, mains input and a ground wire. At the other end of the charger there is um, two terminals. Down at the bottom we have one that says B- minus and B+, plus, and up here we have one that says white and black. Now I could assume that both uh, would be um, yeah, the charging output, but Judging from the inductor size, uh, this is probably the, the battery output. And up here is a yeah, relay uh, or contactor, so that is more likely just a contact function to say that charging is done. We can also see that it says Signet down here on the PCB itself, on both PCB. But uh, you can find these uh, under all kinds of uh, brand names, that it seems to be a OEM manufacturer of power supplies rather than uh, sold by yeah, forklift uh, companies under their own brand. Starting at the uh, AC input wires here, we can see that we have a uh, common uh, noise choke here. We have a 15 amp ceramic fuse. Then there is a regular um, common mode uh, noise filter with the two inductors and uh, two capacitors. And over here we have a bridge rectifier, which is a 600 volt, 15 amp. But that must be with uh, some uh, serious heat sinking because this is not much bigger than a uh, 6 amp uh, rated uh, bridge rectifier. The uh, rectified um, DC voltage goes, uh, yeah, maybe that's uh, black and red. Could also be um, green and brown. Oh, they got to the midpoint. Must be these two. Because uh, on the other side here we have the uh, 4 1200 microfarad 200 volt um, DC electrolytic capacitors. And that goes back down into the inverter here. Now over here uh, there is a range of, let's see, ultra fast diodes. And we have the switches sitting under these um, insulating sleeves. That's actually a first for me to, to see the, these kind of um, completely surrounding uh, sleeves. And they're broke. So I'm going to actually read the um, the marking of it. Here <laughs> it has been Transmitted if we cannot, cannot see it, it's a Fairchild 1A26A2. Maybe we can see it on the. Yeah. It's a Fairchild 1A26A set. So let's get a look on that. That's probably a MOSFET. We have two MOSFETs, and they seem to have each their. Um, transformer as well as long along with the ultra fast diodes. Now these two uh, wires coming here that is the uh, gate drive uh, wires and as we can see they were sitting over here up on the control board. That means that over here we have two small transistors. Those are the um, yeah, gate drive transistors, output transistors and we have some gate drive circuitry in these ICs. This is the up to couplers to get the drive signal from the control circuit. And other than that, it does have its own isolated uh, power supply 
uh, from these two. Now the control circuit itself, uh, that's a uh, PIC 16F73 microcontroller with a 16 megahertz crystal sitting next to it. There's a lot of um, resistors and capacitors for um, yeah, decoupling the inputs or to the output LEDs, but there's also a range of measurements that this is a um, current transformer and voltage measurement down from the inverter. And over here, I'm not quite sure what, what this is, but it's not marked up as good. But it does here say Nick Pick VBA Ground VO CT CT. So that's again some different measurements uh, down on the inverter board. Also, it's a pretty clean layout. Uh, we have all the yeah uh, distances between the high voltage sides as needed. So that's a pretty clean design. Not much to uh, criticize here. Good range between uh, hot components and yeah, maybe this is not that great that you actually hook up warm components to your electrolytic capacitors. That's bound to fail at some time. And it does seem that it's quite a high current um, relay sitting up here. So maybe it's meant to yeah, disconnect its own 230 volt AC supply while when it hits a uh, 100% battery charge. Now let's get rid of these. Oh, no, uh, those are not connectors. So the uh, output side, we have uh, the two output diodes sitting over here. Those are, let's see, X's, DSEK60, O2A, so those are most likely Schottky, uh, double Schottky diodes. We have a large um, output inductor here. And there is a, yeah, another contact, a 30 amp. That could be an output um, contact to actually break the, uh, the output. And then it ends with a last uh, common mode um, noise choke here. And it also has a 40 amp fuse soldered directly on the PCB on the output. So that is the battery connector we have over here. I hope you enjoyed the teardown of this uh, small 600 watt uh, battery charger. I'll put a, a few pictures at the last 20 seconds of the video for you to enjoy. So until next time, see ya.